see your nails now. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I don't like okra. Is it okra powder? I said, I don't want mine trying that. It's like a soup. Because they'll be like, who got your nails? I'm like, my sister. They're like, where's she located? I'm like, in East Texas. Hmm. And that's why I didn't do the video, girl. Come on, time trying to get the angles right. That's a lot. When I told someone, I said, if I were to do how much it takes me to set up the video, how much I make an actual month, it's like 50 cents an hour. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. So mm -hmm. they're like, well, how much do you pay? I said, it's like a hundred and something a month. That's nothing. But it's something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything out on my countertop because I'm going to show you how I'm going to make multiple meals for the remainder of the week. It's Monday with just four split chicken breasts. So I got these chicken breasts on sale at Kroger's for like $8 and there's four in here. I have a small family, three of us. JB doesn't eat meat, so my husband and I. So this can last us all week, but I'm giving you ideas of what you can make using split chicken breasts. Now, I'm gonna take three of these, and this is kind of frozen still, it's okay. I'm gonna take three of them, wash them off really good, and I'm gonna roast them in the oven. It's three o'clock, I'm gonna roast them in the oven for on low for about one and a half to two hours, okay? With the other one, I'm gonna put it in a freezer rack and put it back in the refrigerator because I'm gonna boil that for a soup later on this week. A soup, y'all girl, a soup even though it's still kind of hot here in Texas. So for that soup, it's gonna be very, very simple. I'm gonna have a little bit of potatoes. We're gonna have some onions in the refrigerator, some garlic, some carrots, and I have peas in the refrigerator. One of the things I do, you guys, I try to keep different type of frozen vegetables. And I always keep the must-haves, at least for me, since I cook a lot, garlic, ginger, carrots, onions, celery every now and then, but definitely those four. I keep those all the time. So as far as, excuse the background, as far as, JB, can you turn it down? As far as different type of toppings, for example, a salad. So we have here sesame oil, Panera bread, Asian sesame dressing, and authentic wonton strips. Once these are done, I'm gonna shred it up a couple of chicken breasts itself, and we can make a chicken salad Asian inspired chicken salad. If you want to do something differently, we have here some Italian breadcrumbs, some Parmesan crisp, and then I have here creamy Caesar, gel, Caesar dressing, excuse me. Then I have here creamy Caesar dressing, and I absolutely love that chick, look, let me tell you something. Panera bread, Chick-fil-A. I'm not even gonna talk about Whataburger. They all sell their actual um, dressings in the grocery stores now. So I absolutely love the creamy salsa dressing. And so every now and then I like to add that until onto a salad, excuse me. I have shredded carrots here. I have some tomatoes. I have avocado somewhere around here. Then for lunch every now and then, I can go ahead and use these spinach wraps. I make my spinach wraps using a little bit of lettuce, celery, a little bit of tomatoes, and some chopped up, you okay, baby? I'm sorry. And some chopped up chicken, wrap it up. That could be for our lunch. As far as dinner goes, we can make ourselves some chicken. Either we could do um, chicken tacos, or we could do taquitos. 
very, very simple. I have taco seasoning in there. I could do a little bit of chipotle on the actual chicken itself, roll them up, fry them. You can just, you know, have them as is, warm up a couple of tortillas, put some cheese in it, some lettuce, some uh, tomatoes, some sour cream, whatever toppings you want. Again, another idea for dinner or lunch, I have some, girl, heavy cream, making a shredded chicken uh, pasta meal. You can have any types of vegetables you want. I like broccoli on mine. You could do spinach. You could do roasted tomatoes to, be, to make like a Tuscany chicken type of thing. Boil the pasta, get you some garlic, a little bit of onion, some jalapeno, red pepper flake, garlic powder, onion powder, seasonings. Pour you a little bit of heavy cream in there to make it creamy. Add you some vegetables, any vegetables to your liking. Pair that with a salad and a bread and you're done. So these are just options I'm showing you that you guys can do for your lunch, dinner, whatever it may be. So like I stated, I'm going to go ahead and take three of these chicken breasts, season them up really good. I'm going to make them on low. <sighs> We're gonna start off at 360 and we'll see how it goes from there. And today we're gonna to be having, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, it's in a mix between the Asian inspired or the creamy salsa. I'm kind of feeling this. I'm kind of feeling this right now, so yeah. Beyonce is making bank. I have classmates from Longview that went to her concert here in Houston. Those tickets are off the chain too. Then you got people that are going to the concert more than once. That's crazy to me. What the heck? And this is the thing, Beyonce is 